Hey, what is going on YouTube? Thanks for tuning into this video. And today I wanted to update a video that I've made in the past that allows you to change your monitor as your main monitor as opposed to, in this case, um, let's say you have a MacBook Pro or any sort of MacBook, iMac, and Mac Mini in a, in a way, uh, but I will explain that later. But I wanted to show you how to do that um, here in 2023. So right now uh, I'm running Mac OS Ventura 13.5.1, but you know, it should kind of help you if you have a uh, older Mac OS as well too. And you can check out that video, which I will have uh, here at the top right corner of the screen, uh, which you can check it out if it's like an older version of Mac OS, but this is kind of the newer version with the newer, you know, uh, system settings layout, as you can see here on the left here. So yeah, I just wanted to cover my apps that I have in the background. Uh, so I just have the bookstore open here, uh, Apple's bookstore. So don't mind that. I just wanted to cover, you know, my apps or anything that I have on the desktop. So I actually got a comment uh, recently of a person who it helped tremendously in this case because uh, they went from Windows to Mac because of work. The work provided them with a MacBook and they were having a little bit of a difficult time to try to get their external monitor as their main monitor whenever they plugged in. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Again, I apologize if you can't see the screen, but I hope it kind of helps you out. I, I don't have the best angles because I'm, I have this like $10 tripod. Um, so if I move it, I move the phone just again, it's not, you know, professional grade or anything like that. So um, just, you know, keep that in mind. Again, I'm gonna mention this video anytime I record these videos during the daytime. Uh, if you hear any noise in the background, there's a lot of construction around my building. I've said that in other videos, but um, it's just, you know, that's out of my control. I can't really do anything about that. So, um, all right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is, let's say you open up your laptop and you wanna go to system settings. Uh, it's the little Apple icon, the, the top left corner of your screen. Click on that and then it's the second option. It says system settings. Go ahead and click on that. Uh, once you go on that, it's going to lead you to this on here. It may start off in a different uh, spot, but just go, uh, scroll down here to the left where it says display. Go ahead and click on that. And as you can see here, your built-in display here, obviously on a MacBook, is your only display until you actually connect your uh, external monitor. In this case, I just have to plug in the USB-C your situation may be different, but it's once you plug it in, I'm gonna turn the camera here. So you can see, this is my external monitor. There's nothing on there because this is considered an external display. Obviously the screen on your laptop's your main display by default. Uh, it'll always, it should always do that. If it doesn't, maybe the settings were changed in the past. Uh, don't know, uh, but if you're like this, in this case, it's completely uh, an external monitor. Don't worry, go back to your main monitor, which is your MacBook. If it's hard to see, let me see. Oh, I have it in 4K, hopefully that helps out. So just go to displays here on the left side and scroll down to where it says display. Once you do that, there's this little like kind of arrow-ish right underneath where your laptop is right here. There's this little, little arrow. You can't really see it, but it's there and it's pointing that the settings on here are the settings for this particular uh, display. So if you wanna change that, whatever you wanna do, it's there. Now, if you go to where it says use as, it's right underneath, it's right here, it says use as, and then it says main display. Um, then you can, you know, then there's a, uh, there's different settings. It says main display, extended display, or you can mirror. But on here, where it says use as, it says on there extended display by default because I switched over to that. And in this way too, you can also click on it and make mark it as main display and then it'll transfer over everything from there to there as your main display. And the settings should. Now I say should, because I, again, I can't, it may change back for whatever reason, an update or something could change it back. I, I don't know, but after watching this video, now you know where to you know go ahead and change that. So different ways you can do it, they're all the same, but I clicked on the external display on here, right there, and then I went to use as, and there's like a little drop down menu, just go ahead and click on it, and then click on main display. Then it refreshes, and then now everything is on here. 
Okay, then it refreshes and then everything goes to your external monitor, which I'm gonna go ahead and change. You can, I, I've already, you know, I've already changed it to where the, the laptop monitor is to the right of the extended display. You can do that as well too, and I'll show you that here in a second. So let's just go ahead and turn this over here. Again, I do apologize for the viewing. It's just this tripod, it, you know, it's doing it. I'm using it to its maximum capability. All right, if you look on here, now this is the main display. And then in this corner right here, next to um, the icons on here for your displays, it says arrange. Go ahead and click on them. And then you go ahead and hit done. And that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and do one more time, unplug it. Like let's say you're done for the day and then we're gonna plug it. So you unplug it. Everything went back to the laptop screen. All right, and then now I'm gonna plug it back. Give it a few seconds. And there you go. Now it knows that, you know, this is your main, you know, display and you are good to go. So yeah, there you go. Um, I hope this video helps you out. Again, this is on Mac, Mac OS Ventura 13.5.1. Uh, right now it is the uh, 4th of September, 2020. Um, it should help you out in a few, um, you know, the orientation changes on the system settings. I will go ahead and make a video on that, but um, you know, in, in the future as well too. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next